To create a summary table in Excel using Zotero, there are a few steps you need to take. First, I will be showing this using Microsoft Word and Excel. The process will be similar for any other system like Google. Also, you need to use the Zotero desktop application. So if you have not already downloaded that, definitely do that. Once you open Zotero on your computer, you will choose the collection folder that you wish to use to create this bibliography. Now would be a good time to click on the individual citation entries to make sure that the citation information on the right hand side is correct. Right click on the folder itself and create bibliography from collection. Choose your citation style, most likely it is APA 7th edition, you want the bibliography, and copy to clipboard. Click OK. Then go into Microsoft Word or another word processing system and paste. After you have this, which is essentially your reference page, you want to select everything. You can drag and highlight or hit Control A or on a Mac, Command A. Then copy. Go into Excel. I have already set up my column titles. So I have one for citation, source type, purpose, keywords, sample, methods, and findings. In the second line, I am going to paste. I right clicked and instead of just pasting, pasting normal, I'm going to select this option, which is text only. What that does is it removes all of the hyperlinks so that you don't need to remove those later. After this, highlight column A and then select wrap text. From here, you can now adjust your column widths to whatever works for you by dragging it up here by the lettered column headings. There's also a lot of space here in between my individual entries, so I like to go to the format option and auto fit row height. And that'll make it a little bit more condensed so that it's easier to see all of my citations. After this, you have the option to format. I'm going to highlight all of my rows and columns, click format as a table, and pick whichever colored option works for me. I like blue. My table has headings. I already put the, that column information in. And then there you go. So now once you have more information in your other columns, these little arrows will allow you to sort. And as always, remember to save your work so that you don't lose it.